Mildred with your children, correct? She has got with my children. That's not When nothing. she sees them. Well, why doesn't she see them more often? Whose fault is that, please, Carolyn? Michelle's. Do you use your children? No. As I haven't finished asking the question. Do you use visitation of Grandma as a stick to beat her with? No. Is that true? She does. Until September last year, I, I, I do a job and I work nights and I can sometimes go to visit the children when no sleep. I'm kind, I'm considerate, I'm a good person. And what? I love all my grandchildren. Lies. How many children have you got? I've got five. You've had one quite recently, correct? Yes. And that little boy's name is? Elijah. When was it that your biological mother, Carolyn, was allowed to see him? Never. Why not? Because she wished him dead. This little boy? Oh. You're saying? most serious allegation against Carolyn imaginable. Thank you. That she wished her own grandson dead. Which I'd, I'd had a miscarriage previously before him as well. I've had eight miscarriages. That's a very serious allegation. Is it true? No, it's More not lies. true. Why would I say that when I've had the same thing happen to me? She wasn't there for me when I had my miscarriage. No, and that's a very serious allegation. Did you make that comment? No. And how do you feel about not having seen Elijah over there? Hurt. Why? Why am I hurt? Because that's my first grandson. She's never asked me for a penny. Never. Never. Never asked me for no money whatsoever. I did ask her the money. That's why she owed me the last of the contract. I'm shocked. Shocked, flabbergasted, disgusted. I didn't believe that someone you could bring into the world could say something so evil. When them words are said, them words can't be taken back again, so... I don't care. We've got, we've got no we've feelings got... for the woman whatsoever. She can't even look me in the face. I don't want to look her in the face. I don't want nothing to do with her. I just want to go home. I expected the lies. I expected people to side with her, and I've not got no one to side with me. I love my brother. I'm not disputing the fact she doesn't love her brother, but she's not tried to make any contact with him in the past year. Because you poisoned him against me, that's why. I poisoned a 26-year-old man who's got a mind yeah. of his own. How can someone... How can someone be so evil and nasty? Part of your claim is your phobia around eating. Yes. Yes, Ted. What do you say? What sweets would Stacey go and buy? <coughs> All sorts of sweets. Ten pounds worth? Well, not, not, not straight on that same day. She used to spend maybe three or four pounds and keep the rest for another day, Judge. I don't eat a lot, Judge. She eats um, chips, apples. She eats the pastry off sausage rolls, um, crisps. And obviously, she'll get the munchies from the weed that she smokes every single day. So that's what she's probably wanting the money for. You've just said she gets the what from the what? Munchies from smoking her weed. Her buckets every day in the house. What are you talking about? What? Weed. She's on about how I used to use cannabis for she medicinal still does. purposes a year ago. She still does, Judge. That's not the issue here. I'm talking about when she was 9, 10 or 11. Ten pounds comes into the household. That, at the time, would have been a lot of money to you. <laughs> they used to spend, their, they spend it themselves. They used to spend it herself. I'm sorry, Judge, but she used to spend it herself. The other thing I'm told is that Mum taught you one or two things over the years, Stacey. Steal, lie and cheat my way through life. Um, McDonald's, many <coughs> years ago, used to have quite big toilet rolls. Yes. Um, my Mum, she would not have money cos she'd spend it on other things. And she'd ask us to help us steal the toilet rolls from McDonald's toilets. Well, I've heard some wicked behaviour before, but let me tell you, this does not make your mum Fagin. Do you understand? Mm hmm What that tells me is not that mum's wicked, but that she's clearly in financial dire straits. Could that be true? Yes, I have, um... Did borrowed, you tell your children? I've borrowed a toilet roll. You didn't they... borrow a toilet roll. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's how I know that you're telling me poor kids. Because you're using language, which is nonsense. 
borrow a toilet roll. Don't worry, I'll return the sheets that I used. <laughs> the second part of your claim, the first part we've heard about, and the second part of your claim is for damage that you say has been caused to you as a result of Mum's parenting growing up, yes. and specifically that it's resulted in a food phobia. Yes. Explain to me what you mean. Um, when I was a young girl, um, I came very ill with meningitis. Um, from then, at four, I wouldn't eat properly. I became a very, very fussy, picky eater. My mum used to pin me down, hold my nose, force feed beans into my mouth, um, to the point of where I'd be choking physically on my sick. And when she let me go, she'd whack me and call me a dick, excuse my language, but a dick <laughs> for being sick near her. This has caused me to eat the same diet to now, 21 years, I've had exactly the same food. Now, that's a psychological condition, you say, caused by violence and trauma. What's your diet now, then? Really bad. And the stuff I can't cook or deal with, especially baked beans. I can't even smell them and I feel sick and physically violently sick and panicky. I eat a very, very limited amount of food and it's affecting my health now. I, I get B12 injections, a placement for my B12, one every three months because I don't have enough fitments in my body. You know you don't need a wheelchair, but you got pushed around all day in a wheelchair. No, that is wrong. No. Is it wrong? Really? You, you, you I beat me, you abused me. I don't need a wheelchair. Me. I did You've not abuse you, right? I've had a enough lot in my life. That video was a year and a half ago. It was my 50th birthday. My son asked us to have a little dance, so I did for about two, three minutes. Could, couldn't stand up any longer for the way I was feeling. My mum is the worst ever. She is disgusting. She'd steal cheat away from anything. She lies through her teeth all the time. I I've do done nothing to you. you. <laughs> I haven't force-fed you or anything like that. You are That's desperately, desperately I... wrong. Stacey, I never want to see you again. You are a disgusting, vile girl and don't ever get in contact with me again. She's a horrible woman. I hate her. She's not my mother. She's Shirley. You've got that £13,000. What I'd like to see, which is very important, is what you did with that money. I presume you provided me with evidence of paying off the credit card. I paid some of it off, but not all of it. Madam, let's just pause. You went to your daughter, who used the last vestige of her divorce settlement to assist you get out of substantial and incredibly corrosive debt. You represented that the purpose was to pay off a credit card. She gave you £13,000. Are you telling me today that you didn't use that money to pay off that credit card? Not all of it, no. When did you discover that Mum had not used all of that money for the credit card? Yesterday. Sheila, how much of it did you use to pay down some of the credit card? 6000 of it. What happened to the other 7000 Sheila? I used it for bills. My mortgage and household bills. What happened to the rest of the credit card debt? I'm still paying it now. Now, how do you feel about that? It's a misrepresentation. Shocked. Do you feel let down? The reality is, Sheila, as ugly as it sounds, and it may not have been what's in your heart, you lied. Yeah. You lied to your own daughter about it. Who's that woman over there? My mother. If you were to describe your mum in one word, what word would you use? Evil. Would you use the same language? Yes, Judge. As you can see, Judge, she's with my dad. And uh, that's, that's not right. I mean, I think it's incest and I think she's the evil woman. Incest. You think it's incest? Yeah, yeah, I do. I really do, do stand up. <laughs> Carl, isn't it? Yes. Just to be clear, I have to ask you this question. You are not a blood relation of Julie, correct? Correct. That's your son. Yes. And it's, well, a little bit insular, one might say. I'll put it that way. 
But you knew Julie independently of James, correct? No, I met Julie three years ago, Christmas Eve, up in James and Hazel's house. Understood. Yes, well, yes. Well, why should she not have a relationship with your father? It's wrong. It's wrong. It's the way well, we feel. Well, let's just pause. According it's to the way we feel. Talking according to the laws of whom? To us, our own minds. To your own mind? Yes. It's, it's ruining our family. It's like everyone laughs. I mean, that they're together and all that. They think it's a big joke. <clears throat> but she's laughing, no. I mean, she, she is a joke, Judge. I'm here for what they've done to me, Judge, OK? I'm here for this reason and this reason only. Not to be intimidated by them in any shape or form. I, I got a £3,000 loan out for James, right? Um, on, uh, wait a minute, uh, 2000, uh, 2018 in April, madam. That's correct, I yes. know. I read That's the paper. Correct. They begged me to take a loan out for them. Your claim, quite simply, is that that gentleman over there duped you into being a guarantor for a loan. That's correct. They took that money, <clears throat> they ran off, they've left you destitute... That's and you correct. ..and you want your money back. And those people over there... Yes, Judge. The ones who describe you as evil incarnate say that that is all a pack of porkies, correct? Yes, correct. Judge. You never had a penny of her. No, Judge. And oh. she is here for one reason alone. You tell me what that reason is, mm. according to your claim, and be quiet. It's just a uh, revenge as well, is, Judge, and <laughs> make a, a mockery of us. Do you have any reason to believe that she's seeking revenge against you, Hazel? She hates me. I love my children, Judge. Oh, whatever. None of it. I love my children, whatever. Judge. Whatever. I can't. I can. You can. Oh. Look at me. I can. Madam, this is important. It's important. Hazel. You suggest to me that you weren't that close to James and Hazel, but... Not at all, Judge. ...very soon... Never has been. Well, why not would long... She why would she lend us money if she's not close to us? Not long before the loan, it's they short. started getting closer and closer to short. you. And you now believe that that was motivated by this? No. Without reasonable doubt, Judge. Well, no. you explain that to me, please. Without reasonable doubt, Judge. They knew exactly what they were doing. What do you suggest <sighs> they were doing? No. They, they, they were befriending you. Because we hadn't spoken, Judge. I'm your daughter, you Judge, idiot. Judge, <laughs> Judge, please, can I explain myself? Um, I hadn't spoken to him for quite a few months prior to this. Uh, then they, they befriended me, and about a month after they be befriended me, Judge, they asked me to take out the £3,000 loan for Years them, I didn't speak to her for. Which I, which I did, Judge. And again, I yes. stress, again, I stress, Judge. I done it for my grandchildren, not for them, Judge. For them to have a better quality of life. Excuse me? Right? That is they why... We have a good life, judge, actually, judge, 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 that is why I done it. Uh, life than you brought that, your own kids. That is why I done it, Judge. Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judge in the moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel right now. That's an order.